Houses and cars were submerged in water in Benedito Novo this Monday morning. The town of Vale, Duodijai was hit by flooding in the early hours of the morning. Class suspended other cities also hit read more below, due to the difficulty of getting to the most affected areas, the city government has not informed the civil defense about the number of homeless or displaced people. But according to the regional civil defense, there were no reports of injuries or deaths. At Rodayo, a huge whirlpool reached the Iparanga neighborhood. Causing disturbances in the region SC 110 and several roads in the city were also flooded, at least 450 people were affected. In Dauter Padrino in the same area floods hit the municipality, the sudden high of the river caused SC 477 to be closed as well, Monday will rain as a cold snap passes through the state. According to Apigri Serum, the state's weather monitoring agency, areas bordering Rio Grande do Sul are improving a bit faster. Throughout Tuesday there is a chance of rain accompanied by thunderstorms. Especially in the early morning and early morning. But throughout the day the weather is improving in all areas and there is a possibility of sun opening. This Monday morning City Hall suspended classes across the city's public education network and the measure could be extended for a few more days. Students and teachers faced problems while traveling around the city due to new flood points that appeared. One of the neighborhoods affected by the floods in the city was Arapanguinhas. This Monday morning reporter Moises Stucker followed the situation at least two cities in the region were hit by flooding this Monday. Through social networks residents of Benedito Novo and Timbo noted the damage from the heavy rains that hit the cities at dawn and dawn. The Timbo Civil Defense warned of the rise of the Benedito River, after volumes of rainfall were recorded at Benedito Novo, Dauter Padrinho, and Rodeo. Pictures released on social media show damage to businesses and houses that have been submerged in water. We still have no news pointing to really dry weather conditions for Brusque and the Vale Duadijai region this week. This upcoming four to five day period will indeed have moments with a longer presence of the sun. Therefore the thermometer tends to show a more representative heating which may exceed 33 34 degrees Celsius. Given the predicted heat occasional thunderstorms are unavoidable and will impact remote areas, with greater likelihood from early evening onwards. Since the soil is already drenched, any additional rain events could cause disturbances in the form of floods and landslides therefore we recommend attention.